Finally saying later gator to this Arctic blast and while the temperatures are no longer below freezing, our reptile friends at Gator Country are preparing for another chilly night. Owner Gary Sarge says they've been working overtime to keep their exotic animals from suffering in the bitter cold. Right now, the gators are staying below the water in what Sarge calls a deep hibernative state. 12 News reporter Kyle Orr spent the day at Gator Country and Kyle, them staying underwater is really critical for the gator survival. That's right, Brenda. While Gary Sarge tells me he lacks the telepathy to know exactly how his gators feel under the ice, he does know them well enough to say that these amazing animals know how to hold their own in the cold in a very unique way. That animal figured out that if I just poke my nose through there, let hibernation take a hold, I'll just go into a trance. This frozen pond may be the last place Southeast Texas want to end up during an Arctic blast, but for Gary Sarge's alligators at Gator Country, it's a cozy bed. The American alligator is about the only animal here that doesn't have to have constant extreme heat. An alligator's heart rate beats 55 beats per minute during a normal day. When it gets cold like this, they can go down to three heartbeats per minute. Sarge says the gators can remain in icy waters for days. They'll even bundle close together for warmth. And they'll go under there, so there'll be a whole bunch of them in there keeping warm together. And you'll likely get a slow reaction if you're tempted to boop the snoot. It'll take them a, a little bit to come, you know, come out of that. You're talking about an animal that can barely move when it's this cold. While Big Tex, Big Al, and the rest of the gators are holding their own, animals like this South American crocodile need a helping hand. If the water temperature gets down to around 50, we got a problem. They, they, they just can't survive it. As the Arctic blast moves through, Sarge and the rest of this Gator Country team will continue keeping their animals warm around the clock. The biggest nemesis that we have is cold weather. You've got to take all your exotic animals inside. You've got to make sure they're at a certain heat. If the power goes down, you better have a backup source. And those guys keep an eye on it all night. Sarge says the park is closed while the Gators stay underwater to survive the cold. And they plan to reopen tomorrow. In studio, Kyle Orr, 12 News. All right.